So we we gonna use Lucy chart. We talk about UML diagram. This is just one that you can use for free. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> so we're looking at UML. Let's search. There you go. So this is the one, right? So I just search for UML and this is the one. Class and you already have a template for you so we say we're going to create a template right so we say bank account got the class name and the attributes So let's get to attributes. Double click on that. <coughs> so let's think first. We know bank account should have a name, right? Type's gonna be string. Or we can have account number first, maybe. Yeah. And type what should be a type? And would it that be long enough? <coughs> we talk about type. Okay. Long, okay. Now if we don't have the default values, we, we don't have to worry about that. <coughs> Account name. Right, string. Okay, so now if you see plus, these are all minus represents private, plus is public. Okay, so you have minus, this means private, right? Plus means public. If I use the number signs this means protected okay so now we talk about encapsulations we want to make them all to be private <coughs> right to protect and access from another classes directly to my attributes <coughs> and we can say balance right be now when we deal with the money we like use big dash small we talk about that right <coughs> then this could be operations so operations those are the methods right which we can say get uh, we can do constructor too right constructor is bank account first if you have the default constructor that means no parameters right. now if you look at <coughs> circle you don't need to provide the types right because constructors doesn't have type same name as your class name <coughs> so mm, I'm going to save the file What we do? We open the Lucy chart, we search for UML, and we use this symbols to represent a class diagram. <coughs> we drag it in, and we type, right? We click on it and we type. So, as the first beginning is the class name, and then these are the 
fields or the attributes name we use colon and then the type minus is to represent the private plus is public if you have number size protected so we use plus as public for the methods constructors so like the common constructor that we need to have is the one with no parameters and the one with all the fields to represent all the fields right but this is just showing sometimes we can do this too okay with each parameters or combining of two other parameters <coughs> And we need getters for each attributes and setters for each attributes and two string. Now since I only have two more for the two other then I'm going just to complete this to show you. Yes. This is just to display all the combination of all the attributes here, which, I mean, it's not, it's not common because sometimes you have ten attributes. You don't want to keep doing this, but just to show you that yes, you can do this, right? <coughs> so we have string dash null, and this is another combinations. Okay. Because sometimes we may need it in the program. This is to show. <coughs> 